Hi and welcome back to Sweet Nothing's Crochet's videos. This is the um, a linen stitch that we have worked over uh, with using the extended single crochet. Now, normally when you use the when you work the linen stitch, you work it with a single crochet, which is this row here. This is the single crochet. You do a single crochet. You skip the next stitch and you do a single crochet. That's the linen stitch. And this is when you have worked it using the extended single crochet. The extended single crochet gives you something like the spike stitch or the long stitch when you're working it uh, into the stitch below. So not only am I working the extended single crochet with the linen stitch, but I'm also doing it using the uh, spike stitch or the long stitch way of doing it. A little complicated, but see how beautiful it looks when it's done. So I've already started with a set of um, foundation single crochet and then worked a few rows of the linen stitch with the single crochet and then I'm working it now with a contrast yarn and using the extended single crochet. Today I, for the presentation I'm using Birch Creative um, yarns here. They are both um, four ply yarns. Honestly it doesn't matter what yarn you're using it's the stitch that's important but with the Birch Creative I'm using a 4mm hook. Right, so for the extended single crochet, how you work the linen stitch in the spike uh, way that we are doing it with the spike stitches. So the extended single crochet, uh, sorry, the linen stitch with the extended single crochet is a chain one, and then you have to work the extended single crochet. But as we're doing it with the spike stitch, this is where it should come in because you've skipped that stitch and then it has to come in here. But we're not going there, we're going into the stitch below. And then you work your extended single crochet, that's chain one. So for the linen stitch, it's a chain one. You have to skip the next stitch and go into that space there. But for today's pattern, we're doing it as a spike as well. So you don't go into that space, you go into that stitch there, which is the stitch from one row below. Skip that, go into that space. Work the extended single crochet, chain one. Skip that stitch, go into that stitch there. Now as I'm working in rows, you work all the way till the end and in the last stitch you don't actually get a, it's an uneven number of stitches when you're working in a straight line. If you're doing the same thing and you're working in a circle, in a round, you'll do an even number of stitches. Now as I plan on changing the color, you do two rows per color, then you end up with the yarn, the, the other yarn that you're using on that side. So for the last, sorry about that. So for the last one, what do you do? You do half the stitch. So for the extended crochet, uh, extended single crochet, you go into the last stitch, yarn over, pull through the first stitch, drop the yarn that you're using, up the next yarn that you want for the second color and then finish so you've got the yarn that you want right on top the other yarn has been put to the side start with the chain one now look at what you need to do you have an extended single crochet there and an extended single crochet there get both together for your stitch you need to have an extended single crochet chain one extended single crochet so that's where you're going to come for the next stitch. Extended single crochet in the first stitch. Here too you go one row below. Chain one for your linen stitch. And now we're working the linen spike stitch. So you, you need to come into this space there for the linen stitch. But then you skip that and you come into this stitch which is the top of this uh, stitch from the row below little confusing but once you get the hang of it it's pretty easy so you work the extended single crochet chain one skip the next stitch go into the top of the stitch from the row below chain one skip the next stitch 
and go to the top of the stitch from the row below. Chain 1, skip the next stitch and into the stitch row below and you get your extended single crochet linen spike stitch. I'm not sure if such a stitch exists but this is what I have done in the pattern for my easy tablet cover which can be made into a, sp uh, a mobile cover, into an iPad cover and then you can use this stitch and actually make a shawl as well or a scarf. Right, so it's chain one, extended single crochet for the linen stitch into that space, but we're skipping the space and going into the stitch at the bottom. And that's how we work the stitch all the way to the back, the bottom. Now, I'm just going to show you when you go all the way to the end, don't forget that last stitch. Right. Now if you decide that you want to change the color and you want to use another yarn, I do have videos on how to use the yarn, uh, how to change colors, but let me show it to you again. So you make a slip knot here and in that last one you've done half the extended single crochet, so you've just done that one half of the stitch. You have two loops on the hook and then you take the new color and pass it through. And your new color is attached and your old color stays at the back there. Chain one to start. What do we have here? So we have a stitch there and this is where we're going to work in, right? For, the, uh, for your linen stitch, you work in all the chain spaces. So we start with an extended single crochet for the first stitch going into the one stitch one row below and then you have to do an extended single crochet in that chain space but it's a, uh, it's a spiked one so you go there chain one skip the next stitch into the space below into the stitch below skip that stitch into the stitch below And this is the extended single crochet spike stitch that I have worked in my easy tablet cover. I hope you enjoyed the slightly complicated version of a linen stitch and I do hope you'll use it. Give me a thumbs up if you've liked the video and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.